Hairstyles have always been a really big deal in Bridgerton, and you will be fascinated by the deep research we pulled up to reveal their historical meaning. And even more recently, Penelope and Colin have brought in a new game with their change of hairstyle, which has some crazy but spicy meanings you will find quite romantic, but deep in this video. Before the fans started getting a first look at Penelope for season three, you'd notice her hairstyles had always been different. Throughout seasons one and two, Penelope had hairstyles that her mother mainly influenced, but she also tried to convey a message with them. Although Penelope was best friends with Eloise, a feminist, she wanted to be seen by gentlemen of the ton, which was evident in her hairstyle, and that was why she mostly wore her hair in a half-up, half-down style with tight curls. Interestingly, that style meant she wanted to be noticed and singled out from the crowd, especially with her massive crush on Colin. Sadly, the hairstyle didn't get men to approach her because many other things affected her style in the earlier seasons. However, season three promises to be different as recent photos and videos have shown a change in Penelope's hairstyle, where she now has looser curls. And even though Penelope transforms for season three, she's still passing a message with her hair, and the meaning will blow your mind as we go deeper into the significance of these hairstyles in Bridgerton. In the Bridgerton era, a few things like hairstyles could significantly significantly change one's life based on how it's styled. But that doesn't mean people in the era are free to wear their hair however they like, because there are rules and guidelines. In seasons one and two, Penelope was only following the rule that binds every young unmarried lady who wants to be noticed so she can get married. Class becomes apparent when a woman dresses and styles her hair in Bridgerton. Since Bridgerton started, viewers could tell which people were wealthy and which weren't based on their outfits. But on a closer look, the hair also plays a significant role. It's no secret that the Featheringtons struggled with money issues while the Bridgertons were rich and comfortable, and the differences between these two families can be seen in the hairstyles. Elaborate updos are one of the hairstyles in Bridgerton that quickly gets attention because it's mostly decorated with pearls feathers, and ribbons. Most people with these hairstyles in Bridgerton have a high class, wealth, and more considerable status than the others. Now, if you are wondering how a perfectly adorned updo could showcase wealth, you will discover that it's basically due to some obvious reasons that make total sense. Making an updo adorned with beautifying objects takes a lot of energy, time, and resources. In most cases, the wearer must hire a maid or hairstylist to help put the look together. Only the rich have that luxury, which is a huge deal in the Bridgerton area. Era. Cressida Cowper in Bridgerton wore her hair in this style mostly because she wanted to be seen as of a higher status than the rest. She often looked down on others, and her hairstyle shows her desperation to be recognized and associated with the wealthy people of the ton. Although the hairstyle naturally signifies class, it can sometimes be worn by people trying to be seen as rich, which sometimes works because it takes a lot of effort to put it together, regardless of its intentions. Even while trying too hard to get a husband like Cressida did with her hair, styles, it doesn't always guarantee the desired results. And that could be seen in Penelope's longing to be seen. However, her style in season three speaks a different thing with a strange meaning in the most exciting way, as you will learn more about it soon. Natural curls and wave hairstyles may not differentiate between wealthy and low-income people. Still, it shows another significant benefit, which is a priority in the Bridgerton era. In Bridgerton, mainly the young, innocent, and beautiful ladies get to have a husband, and we saw that happen with Daphne. So, young ladies wearing natural hairstyles that don't look like one is trying too much to be noticed can also be beneficial because it makes people see and pick up the innocence in their looks. Then, when the curls and waves are let down like bangs, it further portrays the youthfulness and relaxed look many people find attractive. And this was how Daphne wore her hair, which made her look too innocent until Simon wanted more of that, and it became an obsession. Interestingly, Penelope in season three is almost the opposite of Daphne in season one, and one thing is that Penelope's hairstyle change in season three is far from innocent, and the revelation gets even more profound as we dig further into the hairstyle's meaning. However, one crucial thing about hairstyles regarding finding a husband in the Regency era is that modesty and innocence are the best ways to portray the hair. Anything otherwise could cause a scandal or rumors for a young unmarried lady. And since Bridgerton is mostly about finding love, the women's hairstyle must show homely, cultured, and docile. Also, if jewels must be added to the hair, they must pass a message too, which is why they must be carefully chosen. In Bridgerton, adding a white feather to the hair as decoration tells all the gentlemen that the lady is available for marriage. Then a dark accessory could show a person who recently became widowed. So, hairstyles in the Regency era are always talking, and Penelope's hair will say a lot to Colin in season three, which we will get to in a bit. Now, speaking about hairstyles and how they signify status and wealth in the Regency era, the Queen's hairstyles are outstanding examples.
apples. The queen, who always delighted in finding the diamond of the season and was always the head of all important social gatherings, had some very complex and adorned hairstyles in seasons one and two. And the crazy thing about the queen's hairstyles is that she always has them changed, which isn't surprising as she has all the best maids and hairstylists at her service. Queen Charlotte's elaborate hairstyle puts her on the top without any words being spoken, and that's because she has the most elaborate, huge, and gorgeous hairstyles in Bridgerton. Her hair is always made in updos, no matter how large they may seem. Then, there are always plenty of accessories and jewels on the hair that show her wealthy status and expensive lifestyle. Aside from all these, you wouldn't believe that the queen's hairstyles also have deeper meanings than the most obvious ones. Her hairstyles show her respect and adoration for her husband, the king. Also, most of the jewels in her hair represent King George's interest in her, even though he is now unwell. Although Bridgerton is set in the Regency era, the queen added some rebelliousness in her outfits to still match the era in which she fell in love with King George. Fans of the Bridgerton franchise would notice that the queen's style in the Bridgerton series is just a continuation and an advanced form of her style in Queen Charlotte. So, despite her hairstyle showing her wealth and royalty status, there are traces of her being stuck in the past, where she had the most imperfect but well-enjoyed love story. And this attitude is reflected in how she engages young ladies seeking marriage in the ton. Unlike the queen, Penelope refuses to continue wearing her hairstyle in the same fashion in season three, and she decided to go extra in season three, which may have made Colin finally drawn to her. However, Penelope's hairstyle in season three wouldn't just be passing messages, but also causing problems, and you are about to see what those are. Since every new season in Bridgerton is about about finding the proper suitor, the most important is the simple hairstyle that shows innocence and availability for marriage. In Bridgerton, an unmarried lady must remain untouched before her wedding night, but sometimes a young bride might want her gentleman to get that information firsthand by speaking with her hair. One way to send the message of her purity and innocence in bed affairs is to adorn her hair with orange blossom, and of course, this will radiate to everyone present and increase the respect for both the bride and groom in the Regency era. However, the story changes after the wedding night, whereby the married woman must change her hairstyle. Since Penelope is getting married in season three, we will discuss some of the changes her hair will go through and how Colin would likely pick up the hints. Many people would think hairstyle speaking stops after a lady gets married, but that's not true because a married lady still has to tell the world she's taken. In a society where many young men are seeking to marry, they need to be able to tell apart the ones that are taken and the single ones. So, a married woman wears her hair in an even more straightforward style, and her her hairstyle must look more humble than that of her unmarried colleagues. Firstly, this is to show that she has a man at home, and secondly, to look less attractive to other men outside. As soon as Daphne got married, her hairstyle was changed. It still looked pretty, but it certainly didn't stand out in the room like that of Edwina, who was actively seeking marriage. Now, from the beginning, Penelope's hairstyle shows that she was still a young girl, but her hair was made unattractive despite Penelope wanting to be noticed. At one point, some people on the internet started calling Penelope's hair a sad poodle hairstyle. Viewers should know that Penelope's hair was influenced by her family's money issues and her mother's influence in not wanting her to spend a lot of money just trying to look flashy. And with this hairstyle, Colin only saw her as an ordinary girl who was just a friend because she wasn't trying or putting the desired effort into her hair. Nicola Coughlin, who portrays Penelope, mentioned that her hairstyle from past seasons was on a simple mission, saying, I mean, I was meant to look like that. And Lou Bennell, who did this hair and makeup, I love you but I was meant to look like a sad poodle, so I looked like a sad poodle. Then, as season three started approaching, Nicola hinted at a change in her hairstyle by sharing a throwback of one of Penelope's hairstyles. She mentioned that she used to call the style Hair Willy, which is funny because that shows that she found joy in naming the looks even though they weren't the best. However, she added that Penelope was ready for the glow up in season three. Although fans have seen sneak peeks of this glow up, it will look even more gorgeous as soon as the season premieres. And there's a significant change in the hairstyle and their meanings. Before now, Penelope had been wearing her hair up, but in season three, the hair is now down, and it speaks a lot of hidden codes we will now unravel. A young and unmarried girl is meant to have her hair swept up in the Regency era while in public, even if it's just half of the hair, while indoors she could then do whatever she liked with it. But in season three, Penelope has her hair entirely down, which is
which is allowed because she's no longer perceived as a young girl, but a spinster who might remain like that for a while. The Regency era believes there's a time for everything, so young ladies of marriageable age come out every season. After a long time of being out without getting married, such a person is considered too old for marriage even if they are still looking young. Now, Penelope has been in the marriage mart for a while, and it's time for her to do things her way. She doesn't need her mother to guide her again, so she could now wear her hair down. But then, why Penelope chooses to wear her hair entirely down while unmarried is still a lot deeper. Firstly, Penelope has been exposed privately by her best friend Eloise, as Lady Whistledown, who has a lot of money. So, Penelope no longer has to pretend to be poor, and can now put her money to the excellent use of looking good, which is evident in her glow up. However, wearing the hair down means Penelope is trying to tease and show there's no innocence about her as she's past the age. Long flowing hair in loose curls is seen as inviting and attractive, which Colin would fall into. The message might look confusing, but Colin would be enticed into getting into a steamy action with Penelope just because of the added beauty the new hairstyle would give her. In Bridgerton 2, Kate Sharma and Anthony couldn't get their eyes and hands off each other, and fans could feel the tension. But then, Kate wore her hair up most of the time, even though she was a spinster like Penelope would be in season 3. Then, when Kate and Anthony started seeing more of each other, fans noticed that some pieces of her hair started becoming loose and falling out despite the tight updo. So, that shows she was falling more in love with Anthony and sending an inviting message to be touched. And viewers know that every new Bridgerton season is always more spicy than the former, so Penelope's hair is far ahead of Kate in sending a steamy message, basically that she's DTF, which she can't wait long for. And Colin, who would be getting drawn in with every one of their meetings in the loose curls and falling hair, would have no choice but to get into the romantic mood with Penelope till he desperately wants nothing more than to have her all to himself. So, hairstyles in the Regency era are the height of sending passionate and spicy messages without doing too much. And it gets even better because the women aren't the only ones who get to speak with their hairstyles as the men also do too. Aside from Penelope, Colin would also be getting a glow up in season 3, which fans already noticed in the sneak peeks. In Bridgerton, men's hair looks simple, but groomed hair that's very clean already shows that the man is from a respectable home and of a high status. This was obvious in Anthony and Simon's hair as they both looked regal, especially when they became engaged to their partners. A clean-shaven man tells the world he's ready to take a wife and lead her in the right way to create his own responsible and classy home. In season 1, Anthony had sideburns, which looked good but showed how he was trying to be in control of the home his father left behind rather than forging one for himself. But all that changed in season two as he became a man of himself, allowed himself to fall in love and changed his hairstyle to a neatly shaven one. And now Colin has also transformed with the key change being his hairstyle. He became shaved and kept the hairs on his chest, which will all create gorgeous scenes in season three. So it's not just Penelope whose hairstyle would be pleasing in season three. Colin is also coming prepared to meet the energy in an unspoken but steamy way.